want to go to Evelyn. I want to turn in those punch cards. I'm really curious about those. I found more of your punch cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So I guess we should stop, right? I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. 20 more. Well, only 17 right now. I've already gotten three. Almost forgot that our apartment's here. Mir. Hi, me. Okay. Little miniature doghouse. Ah, that's good. Framed photo. I could put any photo I wanted in here. I don't have any. Not bad. Mmm. Fish tank. Ah. Ah, there's the mirror. I can't even see myself in it. Terrible. There's the fish tank. There's a photo with no photo inside. Oh wait, no. Is, is that the trading card we got? There's something in there. There's a cube in there. <laughs> Doghouse! Money well spent. So, this mysterious nav point. Gotta go to Albina Majoris. But I also want more punch cards. This place is mostly explored. There's one item here, but that can't be a punch card, so I'm not worried about it. I do want to stop by here, though. It's even a person to speak with. Yeah, so just go towards the green, and the place I want to visit is just right before it. I love this boost so much. Dang, I wish we can go sideways faster. <laughs> Scoot on over here. There we go. I think I have a lot more money than it seems like, because I have a lot of things to sell.
Not bad. Thank you. Dot. Are you Kelson? Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We cannot begin until you confirm your identity. We agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm not Kelson. My name is Rania. Oh, I see. I am sorry, too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. Even worse when it is in the lane. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of... Latex, yes. And I suppose that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. You like your work? I'm still deciding. You? <laughs> it is honest work. I make people happy. Are you... A sex worker? Yes. A dominatrix. My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. Okay. You have something else to say. Spit it out, then. I have nothing else to do, it would seem. I know you are curious. Does it feel bad hurting people, even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me, with words, and with huge handfuls of money. Has it ever gone wrong with a client? No. Seriously? You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon. And get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work, whether we think we do or not. No need for it to be waterlogged. Yeah, I guess that's like the ultimate save for it, isn't it? Using augments. Sell some stuff. See how much money we really have. Do I really need 14 memory chips? Ah, I'm still scared. I'm gonna keep them. I guess there's no reason to keep our old clothes, huh? Look forward to Ooh, we got twenty three hundred limbs. On over to Albana Majoris. We've been here before. Everything looks unexplored. Oh, 
Oh my god, <laughs> how did I avoid that elevator? Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. Hello? Oh my god! Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to me. Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting! Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. Fine, just keep it down. Who are you? Oh my god! I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. You live for talking to strangers? Uh, yes! You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense, like star signs or blood types. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Well, I don't agree. You know extroverts. Well, I'm an extrovert. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move along, please? That's a bad neural mod. <laughs> So around the outside, there's all sorts of teleporters and elevators. Here's... Thanks. I items on an even higher level. Teleporters probably take me to the other side. Oh, there's nothing over here. It's just teleporters on the map, but the teleporters aren't on this level. Achievement for coming here. Huh. Are you a special dealer? You from the east? <laughs> nope, you are not special. Thanks. You f Buy some more pheromones, though. Okay, that seems a little bit odd. It's got the interaction thing over their head, but reversed because we're viewing it from the back. It's not supposed to appear this far away. Also, they're T-posing? 
Um... Hmm. What are you looking for? Well, they they work. Thanks. Hey, come back any. They function. Bye. <laughs> Where does this go? Just the other side? Yeah, just the other side. I think that's the merchant we just saw. They, they seem fine now. That goes down, doesn't it? Yeah, there's no way it goes up. There's some things above me. I look forward. Yeah, something's wrong with their interaction thing, too. It's not like orienting itself to me and it's appearing even when I'm far away. Things seem kind of broken. I am being stolen. Canis, did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit! Really? Lock the doors! They are already inside. Tell them to get out! Threaten them! Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine! Uh, they can't hear you. Why am I on speaker? Camus! I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata eject custom personality Camus data drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus data drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus? Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. The drive. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my comm. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen. This one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair-replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slum ganger steals a hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. 
Just tell Grim that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. Cool. Gonna have a faster vehicle. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? You looking good. Windy out there? That's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. What I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this hover? You got none, right? I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> Beautiful. You're gonna love this one. Unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. That's the best? Yeah, have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. I'm going to assume they all have the same speed and properties and whatnot, so I'm just going to be choosing based on which one I like the look of best. That one looks like a race car. That one over there looks like a taxi. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Almost looks like it has tank treads or something. Yeah, I think I want this one. It's kind of chunky, though. It's kind of big. It is the one I like the best, though. I am your new Hava Automata. Please say your name, sir. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1,500 limbs for activation. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to... Ah! Camus, are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh... I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to Mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep? Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a HOVA overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any HOVA we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep! But we have a nav point, and beep! The beeping is not stopping. Fine, let's just get to the nav point. They make their own beep noise.
What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen. And the doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They are holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom automata personality Camus now offline. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Good to see you're still moving, Rania. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. Is this because of the pheromones? Did I still wonder, did the pheromones do anything? I know I've been warned away from, what was her name, Roderick? So the fact that they're the one that helped me has me a little bit worried. You brought me more juice? No. Lomo is expecting me. No juice, no jazz. I'm not here for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> that was easy. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. I'm gonna take the pheromones again. Rania, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from CorpSec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked CorpSec? Not personally. How can that be? CorpSec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rania. I could afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But, of course, anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course? I guess. I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let CorpSec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the corpsec gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been 
deluded, and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Ranya. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. Before you despair, Ranya, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle, scrap it for parts. You see, Kopsek are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Kopsek where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies, but you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the Dead Corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloudpunk, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. I am nervous. Are you nervous? I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. I will stop talking about how nervous I am now, even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy, Rubric, says the CorpSec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither, but we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Camus, sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. Do you understand? No. It's fine. Let's just get through the Null Gate, then we'll see what happens. Lateral boosters. Lateral boosters with low latency. This should help us weave through traffic. Yes, please. see. Oh, that is much faster. It's the null gate, isn't it? That big red thing. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. <laughs> Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well... I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. Is this all you got? 
No contraband? Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. No one likes viola. Please stay for a moment, miss. We need to talk with you. Oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, miss, I just work the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be upfront and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Let's go. I realized when I started the conversation that I probably should have taken pheromones before, just in case, but it seemed to work out okay. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. So this is the Wastelands, huh? Or at least it leads to the Wastelands? Whoa. The delivery point is up ahead. Oh no. I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. This place is scary. Do people live here? Are you reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. Right. 
inside a terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in, give me a ticket out of here. Rania. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park now? I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Nivalis? Oh yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis, is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change. The distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be. And soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. The gate is open. What? Really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. Why was Rania so dismissive? Don't they realize how important Korra is? You got a ticket? You are shaking. Are you okay? It's fine, it's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Let's go sit down somewhere that we haven't been before. Clear water up here. Hey, kid. Hey, Rania. Are you there? I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid. I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? If only. I can't drink anymore. I can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries. Making waves. Surviving. It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows, and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there, and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI, or the city algorithms, or... Damn, even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. 
Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. Can you tell me who? I, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you mediocre. That's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO, delivering to the Spire. Wait, what? Really? Really. We get to go to the Spire? Are we gonna see daylight? Should we get something to eat? We? Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Get something to eat. You there! I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore, or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Do you know the story of the Great Dreaming? My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child's story, more of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. They avoid the watchful eye of the... I really have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. The Great Dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. Which goes? I think it was like, what will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something, I can't remember it very well. So I see. All right, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the Irasera is helpful. The eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. What is the Irasera? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Who's? The Irasira. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? 
You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things, what are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Eris era comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate. The Eris era destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. I hear it in your voice, but this is a serious matter. Korra would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Korra? The Eris Era is the ultimate enemy of the historian, and as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. But the Eris Era is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. You see, the Era Sera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. As long as the Era Sera exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Era Sera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived, given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Eris Era, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What you say has merit, but I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form, which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the Era Sera why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Korra? Nothing. Oh, come on, you completely wasted my time. I believe Era Sera is imminent, and speaking about Korra will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. <laughs> or a taxi driver. Thanks, Professor. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I guess we're going to get something to eat and then ascend to the spire. <laughs> <laughs>